Honestly, I might as well get started on this. I've already seen what this looks like, but just as a refresh for everyone. So we have this. And as a start, this looks simple, right? It's like, oh yeah, you just gotta get the buses across until you realize that it's backwards. So A1 has to go here, sure. But then A3 has to go here. So how the hell is it gonna get through A1? It doesn't pass through A1. Buses cannot pass through each other. And on top of that, we can't just build a bridge over A because everything has to hit these stars. In addition to A3, leapfrogging over A1, A2 has to leapfrog over both of them. And they can't come in from the top either because there's stuff protecting it. There's a bunch of hydraulics phases. So this is where we were yesterday. We were on this bridge and we spent about four hours on this. Look at where this got us. It got us kind of far. All right, we were able to lift up a bus sometimes, but then, uh, this might work. There's, uh, nope, nope. Yeah, that's about it. So here's what I'm gonna do, all right? I'm gonna take a breather. I'm gonna say, fuck this. Fuck this, and we're gonna start fresh because there, this was just not working like ever. It was so disappointing. Uh, we're gonna take this more slowly, caref carefully, cautiously, and we're gonna actually map it out. I have a better plan this time. I was brainstorming while trying to sleep last night, so it might wor work a little bit better. So again, we have these roads. Then we measure the height of this. The height of this is about two of these big grid lines plus one small grid line. So we'll put a steel down exactly that distance and have another set of roads coming in here to replace this. Then, I'm gonna do some triangles up here, and then we're gonna have hydraulics that are double the length of this length for the big lines plus two. So we actually need to get go to about here in distance. So it doesn't currently reach it right now, so I'll do about half, and we'll have two of these. And these will be pretty much together at all times. I'll be attaching these with this, and I'll be attaching these with this. Then I will be making a t uh, connecting tower. There will be an attached tower. So something like this. Take this, flip it. Alright, so here is our tower for lifting this up. Uh, actually, I'll add a little bit more. I'll add something here. This should hopefully be sturdy. If it isn't, uh, maybe we could adjust this. Oh, we also forgot a part. A very important part of the bridge. Now this part's gonna be a little bit more difficult to math out. We're gonna have to kind of guess a little bit here because we're gonna be making our stop for the bus that we did before. So there's gotta be a road that stops the bus so that its midpoint is exactly in the center of the bridge. So we can measure the length of the bus in this grid again. And it's about three and a half of these big things. So the distance between here and the road has to be 1.75. So the road should be approximately here. So I'll do like a little steel thing to here. Do a road thing to here. And then I'll have a triangle here like this. This may work, it may not work. But hopefully it stops the bus at least somewhat. So then we have this thing where uh, we should adjust the uh, split joint here. Uh, I want this thing to go up when the bus hits A1. Now, it's not that simple. I still got- hang on, I'll just make a couple quick supports here. I'll show you why I can't do exactly that. So, let's try it out. Uh, okay, well this rotates. Um, right, so I had a way to prevent that. I think I will actually use a hydraulic here, because I want to fuck with that later, but I'm gonna disable this for now. Alright, so let's see if this even works. So see how there is a problem here. Uh, all in all, it's not bad, but it's gonna shake back and forth because the bus isn't gonna be lifted up. It's not gonna lift up this back wheel. So, what we're gonna do to work around that is we're gonna have a dummy hydraulic. A very short hydraulic. It'll be 1% contraction. So what's gonna happen is during the first part of A1, this is gonna go, and this is hopefully gonna buy exactly enough time uh, for the bus to get on here. Then we will have all of these go. I don't know if 1% is the exact number, I will probably mess around with that. It's it's probably going to be some other number, but we need something to stall so this guy can get on here, so we can lift this straight up. And actually, to make sure this doesn't rock too much, I think I'll also add... I will attach a little cable here, and a little cable here, kind of like this. And then we'll mess around with this a bit, until we get a nice kind of arch-shaped thing. 
We'll see if this rotates much. So it hits, this does its thing, and it lifts. A lot better already! But ever, however, this pushes it a bit, and I think we need to have this um, contract a bit further. 4%. So I'm gonna have to disable some other hydraulic phases. Because it started going down, and once it goes down, well obviously it's not gonna work. Alright, so let's try this now. This has just gotta take some time to straighten out. Oh, it's really close! We broke the rope. Uh, this rope broke because this bus, bus was just way too powerful, but see how nothing else really broke? Now, I guess what I have done before is I slowed down this bus with roads. Alright, let's give it a shot. Just gotta push a big ball. Yeah, that slows it down. Fuck you. So amazingly, it still donks up here. That's incredible, really. Oh, the rope didn't break this time. Oh, shit, almost. I mean... Technically, it works. It's just definitely not good enough. <laughs> so at least we got the one guy through. I think at this point, we have to start setting up our second thing. So basically, we need to do this again, but for the yellow bus. I'm gonna take this, copy it, flip it, and we'll marvel at the money we've wasted until we realize, wait, this car is way shorter than this bus. We can actually make this whole thing a lot shorter. Also, we'll get rid of some silly stuff like this currently. Uh, until I figure out exactly where I'm gonna want it. Alright, so the height of this car is about one and three quarters of these uh, grid things, which means we can raise this up to about there. So then this has to cover the distance of three and a half lengths, which I believe I can do with a hy single hydraulic. It's right there. Yes. So this is the general idea, then we'll have the split joints again. And then really we're just a little bit over budget. But that's, like, not my problem because I still have to add the road. So now we have to go back to the length of this bus. So this is about three and a half in length. Same as this, actually, I believe. So I suppose I can take this midsection and copy it and put it right about here. Kind of like that. Now, obviously, we have a road blocking. I can fix that pr relatively easily. Like this. It's crazy, I've only been setting up this bridge and it's taken 18 minutes already. That's how you know these levels are hard. That's how you know like we are way in over our heads because this is just fucking ridiculous at how difficult this is. So we have to have A32 happen. However, this because it's length, it's gonna have the exact same problem that um, this bus has here. So we actually have to have the dummy hydraulic go again. So then these hydraulics uh, actually should extend like this. So, I think that's everything. This is the idea, now we just have to work out the kinks. I mean, it looks kind of clean, don't you think? It looks like a respectable bridge. So, something about the bridge is that this actually doesn't need to be so high. If I want to save money, and I think I actually will go for money, I actually should lower this. So this will have to be lowered, and then this will have to be lowered, and then go about lowering the rest of these to save a lot of money. So this is what we're messing with right now. Will it work? Probably not. But I really am just hopeful. So let's see, when do we think our first problem is going to be? So we broke a rope and, ah, alright, kind of predictable, kind of predictable. Uh, so the bus just wasn't stopped enough, it seems. Gotta wedge this stuff right up against the bus and against the ground to create as much friction as possible. I don't even know if this game actually has friction. I might just be talking out of my ass here. But this bus literally ruins everything, so you need to be stopped. Oil the hydraulics, it goes faster. Yeah, where's my oil resource, huh? This also swings a bit, but that's because the bus is moving. It's not really possible to stop this from swinging entirely. But if you could like limit the swing, that would be perfect. Let's uh, I'm gonna add a little steel thing here. Uh, the midpoint between this and this. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna add a cable to here. Will this stop the swinging? I doubt it, but you never know. Oh, this cable is still helpful though. It doesn't break. This cable just likes the brake, so I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna move this back. I think this means it'll on this will only go out to like here-ish. It's really fighting, look at that bend. This is saying no, fuck you, I'm not going over much. Man, the math was all there. It's just we can't lift this up. The only other thing I could think of is 
having this contract less so it lifts earlier. If it lifts earlier and doesn't get fucked. Oh! Ooh. I mean, that's clean. Let's see how the rest of this does. Oh, so we have the same problem here. Uh. <laughs> Alright, hey, not bad, not bad, not bad. See how they connected there? This is the first time I actually got this row to connect here, so that looks pretty clean. I'm gonna get rid of some of this weight then. Uh, see if we can slow this down. See if we can change this up a bit. Maybe I actually don't even need the dummy hydraulic now, just because, um... I, I've made this really smooth. <gasps> Ooh, I don't like that breaking. Damn. Yeah, so this car is like way too close. Why did this break, huh? I think I'll remove even more of this. Actually, I might just remove all of it just to see. The, yeah, I could have the blue car be slowed down. There's a lot of options. Okay, so that swinging definitely sucks. All right, what if I try just not having this go? What if this lifts right away? Interesting. Ooh, that's clean. That's not clean. That's the opposite of clean. But how's this go? Ah, almost. Let me look at this head on. Right, so this isn't pulling directly up. It's pulling a bit up into the right, which means this is going to latch and this is going to have problems. And this road snapped. I don't know why that road snapped. That's a bit of an issue. I'm going to raise this up a little. I think I'm actually just going to raise both these up. Okay, so I think I mathed this out a little wrong. This needs to be lower, I believe. I'm gonna just try this. I don't think this will work though. Never mind. That's good, that's clean. Oh, this is so close! Nothing's even broken, it's just this guy. Yeah, so um we could go with the idea that was mentioned. I mean we could we could potentially do some sort of blockade. Uh, of road here to slow this guy down So we'll just we'll just block this guy. This, this guy should be easier to block right because he's not as fast He's smaller and he has just a lot less power overall All right, let's see if this slows it down. Hey, right, it slows it down a bit at least Still isn't picked up in speed. That's good. I Mean we'll see there's a chance Ooh, It hits this just a little bit later not late enough. Maybe this will just drag more. Ooh, I can wedge this under here. Oh! Yes! That's slow as fuck, boy. Well, moment of the truth. Uh, I know we're gonna be able to lift this. I know we're gonna be able to get this under. Now, I don't know if the entire mechanism is gonna work. Look at that. Even locks in, too. So here comes this back down. So this is gonna go down and it's gonna lock in. And now, oh, no, <laughs> the contraption to free the blocking road. So this one actually works really well. This one, not so much. I think this would help if I have this here because this works like a triangle. It rotates it like a triangle. Nah, so wait, oh, this thing go down. Oh, maybe those are the hydraulics. If, no, what? It should have been going down, right? Oh, well, okay, I guess. This? Okay. Okay. So, what's kind of funny is actually these split joints aren't attached right now. See how it's like shaking back and forth a bit? Oh, what happened here? This should be a two. That's all. What a quality bridge this is. Actually, jokes aside, this is probably the most professional bridge I've built. I f it feels out of place having built this bridge. It really does. All right, do we have it? Are you gonna make it across? No! Come on! You asshole! You stupid motherfucker! Come on! Are you kidding me right now? All right, hopefully this is the world's easiest fix, but if not, I'm going to rage. Okay, I, I can try doing something like this, but this, that actually won't add weight. It might add stability here. Damn it! Alright, so unfortunately that didn't help. It was this that fell out. So we can, if we can figure out why this road collapses, that would be phenomenal. Get in there, buddy. Oh, this rotates and doesn't break. 
That's what I like. Oh, wait, that made it so obvious now. This is it's overextends. We just need to expand like 35% and we're good. But notice how that rotating triangle didn't break. Wow, that was so obvious now. Wait, this broke something as well. Maybe because uh, this little piece broke, the overall mechanism doesn't break. Yes! Holy shit! Oh, finally! Oh my god, I knew we could do it. This level has been giving me so much pain. I have spent, I believe, five hours on this one. But today, now that I had a better plan, it worked out so much better. I'll have to come back to this eventually, have this no break. I think we're only a little bit away from having this be no break. The hardest part, I think, is going to be the roads. So, next level. I doubt we'll get this done today, but who knows?